Have you ever wondered how Roberto Carlos of Brazil scored this legendary free kick goal against France? Let's take a look and then I'll explain. So this graphic goes through a few things about the shot. So for example, this is the flight path of the ball. Look how much curve is on there. It had a peak velocity of 84.5 miles per hour. He was 38 yards from goal and the angle at the widest point was 12 degrees. But why did the ball bend like this and come back? Well, that's because the spin on the ball. The spin causes a change in pressure which will cause the ball to move into that direction. And that is called the Magnus Effect. The Magnus Effect is a physical phenomenon that suggests that balls or other objects will be affected by the pressure depending on how the object is spinning. So a ball that is spinning in one direction will turn to the right, turn to the left if it has a backspin, it will tend to rise. If it has a top spin, it will tend to dip. Also, if the ball has no spin at all, it will knuckle and actually shake in air. The Magnus effect was named after German physicist Heinrich Gustav Magnus. However, Isaac Newton actually correctly described it while he was playing tennis and he learned how he could curve the tennis ball with his tennis racket. So how does he do this technique? Well, the secret is, is when he goes to strike the ball, he's not gonna strike it dead center like he normally does. He's instead gonna strike it with the outside of the foot going across the ball to his right, following through hard across the ball. That way it causes the ball to spin. With the ball spinning like this, combined with the massive amounts of power that he creates through his follow through, that ball is always going to come back towards the goal, and it hopefully will always beat the goalkeeper just like he did here.